All right, you guys, so it is currently 126 right now. And today is finally the day that I move all my 700 pairs to a storage unit. As you guys can see, I got two rows of sneakers right here. And yeah, there's a lot of pairs in my living room right now. Bro, I literally have 700 pairs in my house right now. And to keep it a bucket, you guys, I cannot live like this. Because, bro, 24-7, I'm just looking at all these sneakers. So yeah, we got a pile right here. Then we got some more right here. These are the new white cements that just dropped. And yeah, these are all Panda Dunks. Then we got some more right here, some Air Forces, some Fours, and some Lost and Found Jordan ones but yeah as you guys can see this is a whole mess right here and you guys let me know in the comments but i think it's the right decision to get a storage unit because bro let's say for example i sold a shoe all the way back there i gotta move all these pairs right here just to get that shoe back there so me personally i think it's the right decision to move all these pairs to the storage unit and i got a few more pairs in my bedroom right now so i have a bunch of cherry 11s right now and these are some bretto lows and then i got a couple sakai's that i'm wearing for myself bro you guys can see how long these boxes were here for there's literally dust on them right now but yeah anyways we got all these cherry 11s i think I have like 50 pairs of them right now and then yeah this whole stack right here is the Jordan 1 Lowe's so yeah this is the last set that I have around my house and yeah bro as you guys can see there is a lot of pairs in my house right now so I just thought it was the better decision to get a storage unit all right you guys so as you guys can see it is 86 degrees today it is a nice sunny day today and then when I get to the storage unit I'm gonna show you guys that All right, you guys, so I just arrived at my storage unit. I'm gonna open this up real quick and show you guys a finished look because I put all the 700 pairs at my unit already. Also, I bought two lights from Amazon to make the storage unit look more brighter because it looks very dark in there. Also, guys, before I open the unit and show you guys a final look, one of my supporters sent me a package and he put a note in there and he said he wants me to read it for the video. So that's what we're gonna do right now. <laughs> So I'm gonna open the package in the storage unit because as you guys can hear, there's a little bit of music in the hallway. So I just put my lights on and let's open the package. Oh, he got the note right there. So I bought these off him. It was the vintage Teamer Dunks. And yeah, I bought these for 110. I'm gonna put these right here. Okay, to Daniel Pro One, your number one supporter. I've been subs since 5K subs and watching your videos has helped me gain the knowledge in reselling shoes. I hope to follow your steps and be a successful reseller just like you. Watching you grow has been so nostalgic. It just reminds me how fast you gain these extra 5K subs. Congrats on 10K subs. The sky's the limit, bro. Keep grinding. From your number one supporter, Benny. Bro, Benny, I love you so much. Thank you for this. I literally do not see you as a supporter. I just see you as my friend and bro me and Benny's always talking on the phone either he's giving me gym advice or what kind of workouts I should do and yeah just overall he's such a good kid so bro shout out to that guy I want you guys to comment W Benny in the comments right now but yeah anyways it literally doesn't matter how many subscribers I get even if I get 50,000 or 100,000 or a million I'm still gonna always talk with you guys because you guys are the reason why I just hit 10,000 subscribers and bro I will never take that for granted so thank you guys so much for the recent support I love you guys so so much but yeah Benny again thank you so much for this note I'm definitely gonna keep this note and put it in my closet all right you guys but anyways i think now is the time to show you guys a final look of my storage unit so three two one final look of my 700 pair storage unit so as you guys can see it's a little bit dark in here so right now i'm about to open the lights that i ordered on amazon and yeah as you guys can see it is fully packed in here let me just show you guys a view of the right side real quick so as i said earlier i ordered two lights and before i even used the other light bro it shattered and it broke so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hang this on top of the storage unit. As you guys can see, there's a little hook right here. So yeah, let me open the second light real quick and I'm gonna put it on top of the storage unit. So these lights, I have to charge them. I think the light stays up to like eight hours. So every time this dies, I have to go take this out of my storage unit and go home and charge it. So we got the second light right here. Now it's time to hang these both up and show you guys the final, final look of my storage unit. All right, you guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang this up right here. And yeah, as you guys can see, there's a little hook right there. Bro, I'm just praying this hook doesn't break because if it does, it's over. All right, so we're gonna put the lights right here. Yes, baby. Yes, let's go. Bro, this is so much better. But we're not done yet. I'm gonna put the second light right over there. So I'm gonna just hang this all the way right here. Ah, I'm not that tall, guys. I'm like six feet, bro. <laughs> we're gonna put the lights on right here. One, two, three. And yeah, bro, now we are lit. I just left these boxes out right here so I can show you guys exactly what I have at my storage unit. Bro, low key, this one is shaking a lot. It's literally scaring me right now. Bro, just imagine this falling down right here. Now, I won't even say it. I won't even say it anymore, bro. Honestly, bro, every time I leave the storage unit, I'm gonna take down both lights because I don't think it's safe to just leave these hanging all night long.
so i think it's time to show you guys all the pairs that i have at the storage unit because by the time the second lights came i sold like 50 pairs so right here i have a bunch of white cement threes i think i have about 22 pairs of these and then moving to right here these are just black and white air forces so we got the black ones right here and then these ones right here are the white ones i think i paid like 66 dollars per pair so i got 13 pairs of those and then moving on to right here i got 30 pairs in total of all the u shoes but yeah some pairs that i got is like the ccfm grinches bro these are low-key tough i'm not gonna lie me personally i would never wear these but yeah this is how they look trimmed i think i picked these up for like 200 dollars and then there's a bunch of jordan ones the easies jordan threes and then moving on to right here i got a bunch of jordan fours in grade school sizes so yeah there's some pairs right here and yeah it's hard to show you guys because the pairs are all the way behind but yeah there's some pairs all the way back here and then moving on to right here it's a couple of random pairs yo honestly all the pairs that are popping up right here are all randoms and i tried to put all the bulk pairs behind like for example if we go to this row right here i got like a bunch of random pairs like some dung some fours some yeezys so behind the random pile that i have i have the jordan 11 cherries that i literally regret buying i think i got about like 55 pairs of them if you guys don't know how these look these are the ones right here so all these pairs right here are all the cherry 11s and yeah bro i think my average buying was like 240 for these and they go for like 220 to 240 so that definitely wasn't a smart buy but i mean it happens sometimes you're gonna take wins sometimes you're gonna take losses so you just gotta live with it and yeah going to the back i have the jordan 4 minute navies if you guys haven't seen my video i invested like 130 pairs of them my average buying for the men's was like 260 and for the gs was like 200 so yeah i'm just gonna probably hold these for a little bit longer then sell them all at once and then all the way back here i got a bunch of slides like literally this whole row and plus that row right here two rows right here and then another row right here guys let me tell you for the easy slides i paid the absolute low for them all right so let me show you guys so for this colorway right here i have like 25 pairs of them my average buying for these was like 70 to 75 dollars and guys look at market right now and by the way i held all these so i got sizes 5 and 9 through 12 so if you can see the 5 is going for 125 the 9 is 125 and then the 10 through 12 is 150 to like 175 so just me buying these for 70 to 75 dollars i'm easily doubling my money so yeah i have mostly the resin slides and the bone slides i have about like 20 pairs of these and for these two i recently bought my like 150 and yeah as you guys can see right now the market is like 200 to like 250 but as you guys know with the whole kanye situation and him ending his contract all these slides has went up in price so yeah i got a bunch of slides and then i got more jordan fours right here and then back here i got more jordan one lows this pile all right here is all the seafoam fours by the way i'm selling all my seafoam fours to a store today and i'm selling a bunch of jordan fours that i'm gonna show you guys in a bit but yeah for these i think i have like 17 pairs of these they're all right here and plus i got some more pairs right here and yeah also i have a bunch of foam winners i'm sorry guys but it's literally hard to show you guys because they're all the way behind but yeah if i take these pairs out right here you guys can see all the foam winners back here so i have like 20 pairs of those of course i gotta have these i think right now i have like 55 pairs of these which is a lot but yeah this row right here is all panda dunks plus this row right here and plus they're everywhere like i have some pairs right here some right here a couple right here but i mean you can never have too much of these because people always want these i kind of have to go because i have to drop 70 pairs of shoes to a store right now but yeah let me just show you guys the last pairs that i have so i'm about to sell 14 pairs of these i paid like 150 in average for these and i'm about to sell all 14 pairs for 170 so just off these 14 pairs i'm making like 280 also i have like 35 pairs of these that are all back right here plus i got some pairs right here and of course i have to use every space that i have so i put some more pairs right here but yeah a shoe like this i had them for a while and i just want to liquidate right now so i'm trying to find a buyer for these i honestly thought these were going to go up but unfortunately they didn't bro i gotta show you guys this hold on bro you guys cannot tell me this shoe doesn't look beautiful like i'm not the type to wear black air force ones but these right here aren't your regular black air force ones so yeah i got these like a week ago for 880 dollars also i have to put all these boxes in my storage unit so i usually put them right here but first before i put the boxes in i gotta take out all the 70 pairs that i'm selling to the store today so i'm gonna turn the camera once i take all those pairs out all right so i just took the first batch of all the pairs now i'm about to put everything in my car and then i'm gonna take the rest of the pairs at my unit all right you guys so i just put all the 70 pairs in my car mostly all the jordan fours are in my trunk